your friendly neighborhood quarter guy here, and, uh... I've got a few things to go over. Mostly minor ones, but... First off, uh... Apparently, Koro Koro Magazine is set to blow the lid off Pokemon Sun and Moon information next month. Which kind of relates back to what... The, the, the reaction to what was going on in the... In this show in Japan that was supposedly going to reveal the first gameplay footage of Sun and Moon, but in reality... I don't think we were ever promised that. And what Japan got was a showing of the initial reveal trailer for Sun and Moon. Now, I don't know exactly what Koro Koro is going to reveal when they uh, have their big expose on Sun and Moon. But I'm looking forward to what information they have. Again, I'm still hoping for a dark type gym leader. It's like Game Freak's just trolling us at this point. I mean, dark types were introduced in Gen 2. We're now coming up on what is either going to be the second half of Gen 6 or the advent of Gen 7. And still no Dark-type Gym Leader. We need a Dark-type Gym Leader. I honestly believe we do. And uh, second is a kind of facepalm-worthy rumor that I recently heard. Basically, there are rumors of a live-action Pokémon movie. I... I... I just don't know how that could honestly work. I mean... Even with the coming of the augmented reality game of Pokemon Go... I still think that... In terms of... Telling a Pokemon story not in a game... I think that's either meant for animated media or print media. But... Yeah, especially considering that... Uh, Movies that have had both that have mixed CGI and live action, for the most part, haven't been received all too well. And I can't really see this. I can't really see anything different from a Pokemon live action movie. <sighs> I just can't. Also, moving on to JoJo's. JoJo's. Jojo's Bizarre, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, Diamond is Unbreakable, Episode 3, The Nijimura Brothers Part 1 is, uh, it was up, I saw it, and uh, I gotta admit, they did a good job with this one, introducing Okuyasu, Nijimura, and his stand, The Hand, and also showing the fact that Okuyasu is an idiot, and his older brother is a total jerkwad. I'm looking forward to seeing how it continues next week. Anyways, personal updates include, uh... I've got my lines recorded for my Top 10 Astral Heats Extend. I'm all decked out in my Ragna shirt for that. And for May, I'm doing a key review of a Mega Man game. That being Mega Man X Command Mission. And I'm actually considering doing a Let's Play of Mega Man X Command Mission. That is, if you'd like to see it. Just let me know in the comments. Now, for my question of the week, I'd like to know. Do you think a live-action Pokemon movie could possibly work? As always, leave your answers in the comments. I'll pick my favorite answers and feature them on next week's episode. Here are last week's winners. And with that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, if you want to send me a question, go to my YouTube page, click the About tab, click the Send Message button, and send me your questions. I'll answer the ones that I feel I can answer the most effectively on the next episode. First question this week comes from Leonardo Juan, who asks, What's your favorite movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, to be fair, I've only seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but... Oh man, that was such a good movie. It was funny, the characters were likable, the action was well-paced. It was just a fun movie to watch. Though there are movies in the cinematic universe I'd like to see, like the Avengers, the Iron Man movies, and the Captain America movies. But they're probably on Netflix, so I can probably catch them easily. And I'm looking forward to 
how well they how well Guardians of the Galaxy and its upcoming sequel. Yeah, there's a sequel alright. There's a sequel in the works. How well they fit into the cinematic universe. Next question comes from Bumblebee Live35, who asks, Have you ever thought of doing a playthrough of Arya of Sorrow? Funny you should mention that. I was actually considering doing that as part of Castlevania Month, but I eventually settled on simply doing the five countdowns and my live streams. It actually went over pretty well. At one point, I was actually considering holding volunteer auditions for a fan dub of Arya of Sorrow, but that might have been pushing it, and and it's probably the sort of thing that's only reserved for, you know, bigger channels. But if you guys would like to see me do an Arya of Sorrow Let's Play, I'll definitely consider it. Next question comes from JM, aka JokerJ779, who asks, Who are your favorite Mario RPG villains? I would have to say... Some of them, some of my favorites include Fawful from the Mario and Luigi series for being such a quirky and uh, off-the-wall villain. I also have to give credit to Antasma from Mario and Luigi Dream Team for being uh, the kind of threatening that isn't extremely... How do I put this? I like how Antasma comes off, basically. Basically as a dreamlike, vampire-like being. But I have to say my favorite Mario RPG villain would have to be Count Black from Super Paper Mario for how fleshed out he was. How they told his backstory about how he's a tragic villain and how everything was he was doing was out of... the results of a forbidden love, to, so to speak. It's too bad Dementio hijacked everything at the end. Next question comes from Slayraptor64, who asks, When can you do a stream that you fight your viewers on fighters like Smash, Toho, Street Fighter, etc.? I actually, I actually did that during my uh, Extra Life charity marathon last year on, on, on a couple of the games, including Smash, Arcana Hard 3, Love Max. I'll probably do the same thing. I, I'll probably do Extra Life again this year in November. And uh, I'll have more games for that, like probably Blaze Blue, again Arcana Heart, maybe Street Fighter, probably Killer Instinct, Toho. No, not Toho because I can't really do online for Toho. But Pokémon Tournament. I'll probably do other streams for that as well. So yeah. Last question this week comes from D Master and Productions, who asks. If you could punch any video game character in the face, off a cliff, into a pit of boiling lava sharks, who would it be? Dr. Vile from Mega Man Zero. If you've seen my videos for a long time, you know why. And the sad part is, it still probably wouldn't kill him. Oh.